Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Every single day, I'll be making no so tough to be won here at Shamrock Park today, but it's still a special occasion for Manchester United fans here to see their heroes. And there's him. This is Keane trying to find some room, and he has. Christ, let's go. We've been entertained before the game by the community circus, and we also had the wild geese dropping in. Eric Cantona, the skipper. The result today, not important, of course. But the people here, they'll be hoping for a gutsy performance from Portadown. But above all, they'll be looking for a bit of quality, a bit of class from Cantona and United. That's what they're all here to see. Well, number four there, Patrick McGibbon, Northern Ireland defender. And he's the reason we've got this game. All part of the transfer deal which took him to Old Trafford three years ago. The new signings for United, Dutch goalkeeper Raymond van der Gaar and defender Ronnie Jonsson, a Norwegian international. Here we go through, it's Roy Keane. It's 1-0, but the flag is up. Smiles all round. Had it been a Premiership game, there might have been a few more complaints. But look at the strength of Keane. Powerful runner. And the finish was oh so easy, but it didn't count. Peebles. Cut out by Keane. Lee Sharp. Keane. Still going. Look at the par. And there's the finish. Yes! At the second attempt. 3 0 United. 29 minutes gone and Keane gets number three powerful run Dalton did well but there's the finish from the rebound teed up for Sharp here's Keane we're inside the last minute of this first half Keane drills it in scores that's the hat trick great smile there from Paul Scholes Roy King going off. Simon Davies is the other man coming on. First half is a little bit frightening to be honest. Um, we think we saw the full power of what they can achieve. I think if, they'd have, if this hadn't been their first game and they'd have left all the players on, it could have been well into double figures. Puts it in the context when you know, you're buying Stevie Livingston for 20,000 and they're buying Cruyff and these guys for millions. Obviously, uh, we, we had a difficult week coming back from Europe and obviously we had to go to work on, on Friday and they didn't, so you know the, there's a bit of a difference there. Problems for midfielder Roy Keane. Uh, the referee David Ellery saved him from the shame of a pre-season red card. He uh, asked the United manager Alex Ferguson to substitute Keane, which he then did, as the match threatened to get out of hand with some rather fiery tackles and some hot temper as well. Maybe Manchester here. United were still a bit shell-shocked from their midweek defeat in Italy him. because Ajax and outwitted their defence time and again. Their Zairean forward Musampa just thwarted by Schmeichel. In contrast, the United attack was suffocated by Ajax's smothering blanket of a defence. And when they did break through, they couldn't make the chances count. It was fitting in a low-key and physical game that the first goal should come from a free kick. And Ajax deserved their lead. Frank de Boer's 30-yard shot threading past the wall and past Schmeichel. You might think a more positive dive could have stopped it. And moments later, United's best chance of the half went begging. A bad back pass giving Cantona a free long-range pot at goal. But his shot ended up tamely in a grateful goalkeeper's arms. At half-time, Alex Ferguson looked none too happy. And he was even less pleased when a wild Roy Keane tackle prompted the referee to advise that he be substituted before he was booked or worse. But at least United's persistence paid off when with all but 12 minutes of the second half gone, Schmeichel smashed a free kick upfield and the ball flicked through to McClare who just made enough contact to get the ball over the line. A typical English goal seemed to have earned a shootout chance until with five minutes left 
the United defence gaped open again, and this time the Sampa made no mistake. Tempers flared in the closing seconds as United tried desperately to save the game. It had been a frustrating 90 minutes. Christopher Terry, Sky News. Double winners, Shearer and Ferdinand, get the game underway, but certainly not wanting to miss out on this uh, usually showpiece occasion, but there's more meat to it today, I would suggest. The rivalry intense. Ginola. range that time. Flip forward by Scholes was usefully delivered. And this is Keane. It's only got Cantona, although others were arriving. But uh, vital factors in uh, the way the Premiership was won. Keane. Uh, Sound up for him. Well, they started a better save. Start to this game. Beckham gets away from Albert. Scholes is with him. Cantona is free. It's another chance for Cantona. And this time he's taken it. You can't keep losing him as Newcastle have been doing without paying the price. Diggs, Cantona pulling away from Albert again. And not uh, coping with the quality of his work off the ball, let alone what he does when he's in possession, and here's another one, Beckham's cross, and Nicky Butt flying in with the header, well if this is only a cotton razor mark for the rest of this season, what have we got to look forward to? Well they didn't lose the ball mark, because Philippe Valdea just on the edge of the box here had gone forward, he took a chance, and again a less than charitable exchange, Oh. Well, Cantona, who kept out of things so much when he came back last season. It was between Asprea and Gary Neville. Paul Durkin thought uh, that Albert and Gary Neville, rather. Paul Durkin thought that Albert had been fouled. Manchester United didn't think so. But they really packed the 18 yard box with red shots. Well, if you've enjoyed Manchester United today, highlights on Tuesday night on Sky Sports of their match against Inter and Paul Ince. No flag. Beckham. 3-0. It's Keane. Well, 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 this is getting very, very embarrassing for Kevin Keegan and company. Well, that's sloppy. I know the 3-0 down, but the way Roy Keane was able just to stand outside the area, no one near him, look at that, look at him. And they roll it to him, and it seemed to go through Sunnichek. I have to say the goalkeeper should save that in my book. That's straight down his throat, he gets good view of it. It does move a little bit, but the goalkeeper should be able to do enough to push that over. But I would be more alarmed at this. At how much time, how much space Keane was given. I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway 